Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Just inviting a few people. Hey. Come on, party with me, y'all. In your seats, right where you are. Just inviting a few people to come up here. All right, how is everybody doing? Just inviting a few more people. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining. I don't know if the comments are working. I saw, oh, I just saw, um, I just saw, oh, hey. Hey, Miss Queenie, my mama, Janet, hey. Hello there, Vicky. Hi, guys, I'm sorry I'm late. Thank you so much. It is my birthday, and I decided for my birthday that I would gift one of you. I feel like I am the gift, so you get me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> guys, yeah, I'm, I'm really, truly blessed. A lot of great things. I'm 44 today. I was born, I think, 6.30 in the morning. My mom is on. Hey, mom. She went through all that labor with me. Poor lady, after that, she said, that's it. You know how I say broke the bank? John Marie broke the bank. How much did I weigh? Hey, what's going on, J.R. Amy Beltra? What's going on? Ma, what did you say? I weighed like 13 pounds, 16 pounds? I don't know. I was a big baby. So, so I just started. I started a little bit. I um actually uh, did our skincare. So I used our gentle wash. Then I hit it with some rose water. You know, I love the rose water, guys. Then I um, did our face primer and I did a little concealer. I've been having a lot of dark spots. So I'll start with that there. So yes. So I looked on my page and only one person answered. But let's see. You all are probably all, hey girl, hey, what's going on? You all are probably already on my page. So I decided I'm still going to do the giveaway. Um, so it is going to be not this one, but it's actually going to be a detox mask. Yeah, so this one um, comes with a little spatula. This was one of our set specials of eight days uh, gifted, to, gifted to me. So today is day, oh, sorry guys. Today is day seven. Tomorrow is our day. It's our annual like specials. It's like 24 hours in addition to our kudos. So this was our like queen mask reveal. So yeah, so... I just wanted to show y'all. So this is the detox mask. And I show you guys a couple of de uh, demonstrations on this. This is the, oh, it's gosh, it's so good. Invigorating. Like I said, it comes with a spatula there. So let's see. That one there. Oh, gosh, it's really nice. It's really a spa for your face. So you will get your own. See, unopened. Um, because you guys have been supporting, you know, um, our discounts and half price items. I got one of these here, and I decided to gift one of you guys. You'll love it. And I figured uh, you guys could take pictures and then after and tell me and give a review on my makeup page. All right. So just kind of getting ready with me. We might have to uh, do it. Hey, Frank A., what's going on? So, yeah, you guys are really like this there. Yes. And if you want your own mask, you know, you can always go over to www.itsallnewnew.com. Let me go ahead and put that in there and you guys can visit my page. So how was everybody going? It's hump day. So actually, happy birthday and happy hump day. Hey, Mark. Who are you? Let me just bear with me. I'm just putting that in there. Can I pin this? So what's in there? And let me pin. I'm just going to pin the comments so you guys can go there as well. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is great. And, you know, as you guys seen in some of my videos, sorry, my hair's coming out. My husband has used it. My son has used it. This is great, guys. Um, for, like I said, guys and girls, those who you don't really wear, who don't really wear makeup, this is really excellent. You know, the, the weather's changing and so forth. So that's there. So I'm going to go in with our palette and work on some of these colors, do a little get ready with me, and we chit chat a little bit. So how was you guys' days? Everybody's doing good? I hope so. Who's that? Amanda, how are you? So ready for the weekend. I miss you. Oh, gosh, I miss you, too. Girlfriend, let me tell you about them, right? So, you know, I called them, right? Because I got, I got a message. 10 o'clock in the evening saying, basically, 
to call and, you know, see if we're going to try to work this out or whatever the case may be. And I'm thinking, even Central Time, that's 9 o'clock. Okay. Call back today and it was like the gatekeeper wasn't trying to let me through. It was the weirdest thing. They were like saying, I'm going in with beaming. Sorry, that color here. They basically said, um, the person who called me back, I asked to speak to them, you know, the, the situation, just trying to see what's going on with this new job of mine. And I called back, and like I said, the gatekeeper came in and basically was like, oh, I can't transfer you because of the type of phone you have. Your phone, won't, your phone or your number won't allow me to. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense at all. But okay. Of course, I didn't get a call back. So that's neither here nor there. But mind you, I sent an email and I copied all the people that I had spoke to about, you know, some situations that really need to be addressed from Friday. And here it is Wednesday. So, you know, it just goes to show me they're really not interested in remedying the problem and they're going to do what they're going to do. And that is why I'm always trying to be an entrepreneur while I am an entrepreneur while I'm working to do what I do. So that's what it is. <laughs> so well, I thought that to be very odd. So yeah, I just start off with that. And, but how are you doing? How are you doing with all that? How's the calls and everything coming? I know it's like, are you, how are you and JL doing? I hope well. Yep. Oh, I should do my first. Yeah, I'm going to go in next with um, Unashamed. I'm going to do a little light. I might do a little. No. No. No, you know what? I think I'm going to go in with Palette 4. Because I was going to play some music, but we'll see there. Who's there? It's getting better, even with the lack of training. Okay, well, that's what they say, that it should be a little bit better. But I just, you know, needed a little bit more guidance. And I feel like everybody is different, and they come in on different levels. So you should try to accommodate them as much as possible, within reason, you know. And if not, then, you know, it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to go in with this, because I'm feeling kind of shimmery. I'm going to go in. This is palette four. Yeah, this was the one I was starting off with was our anniversary palette. Yeah. So this is palette four. I'm going to go in with Honest. And the, it just keeps jumping, but I don't see anything. Hey, Uncle Mark. And I'm going to go in there. Just go in a little bit over because I want to kind of, I want a little shimmer. Yeah, so it's good. It's a good birthday. I, I, I know it's so funny. I was like, yeah, I was talking to my husband. I was like, yeah. Cause, you know, I'll be 44. He looked at me, he's like, oh, I am 44. <laughs> Your birthday is today. <laughs> and I worked today. It was funny. Uh, it wasn't too bad. We had a lot of technical issues. You know, the one thing about working from home sometimes and doing things from home is your internet goes out. It's kind of hard to work. <laughs> so, so I'm just going in over, I'm going in over with that honest just to kind of get that look there. Yeah, so. It's good, and like anything, there's pros and cons, and you just have to kind of figure out what is going to work for you. So when, when I got really sick and I had the car accident, so, well, first, you know, first I got laid off from my last brick-and-mortar job, and I was like, man, I still need to be working, and then I started having health issues, and then I had the car accident, so it just kind of made sense. It made sense to just work from home because I had problems getting around, and guess what? Bills don't stop, right? They still come. They're like, that's nice. We want our money or we're putting you out. That's nice or your lights are going to go off. Uh, that's nice or you're going to cut off your water. As I royal. So work from homes and direct marketing and things of that nature. Just provide, you know, different from people. A lot of people do a lot of home sourcing is going on. You know, when Obama was in office, they were talking about that more that, you know, rather than um, uh, outsourcing, the home shoring is just people working from home. Many people do. It works out better because childcare is so expensive. Some people, by the time they pay, their met, you know, um, insurance is expensive. So by the time they're done with all that, it's like, okay, so I guess we'll be eating uh, nothing. Ashla, good luck. Got to go. Have a blessed night. Okay, good night. Hey, Lacey. Night, Mom. <laughs> My mom is funny. Was was in labor all that time. So how do I handle this? I guess it comes, okay. So 
Yeah, so that's the opportunity that you have when you work from home, direct sales, or, you know, a lot of people, like, there's so many people, like, there's so many things that, you know, you really don't, if you don't want to, have to really leave home. They even have, like, Amazon. What do they do? Like, they can deliver your food. So, hey, hey. How you doing, Lacey? You know, Lacey knows what I'm talking about. Lacey, um, she has a site where there's, like, leggings and other accessories and stuff which we all nice we all love it's nice all right so i did that there and i'm kind of liking that silver a silver a. yeah let's see what we're gonna go next i want kind of a metallic -y kind of yeah so i'm gonna go next with oh i think i might go with this mm, it's a shimmery this is devout See that one, guys? Can you see it? The color? That one there. Ooh, shimmy, shimmy. Yep. But I think I want to use one of our cream shadows because that's a. Uh, I think I want to definitely use that. Yeah, because tomorrow is the last day. Hey, I'm doing good. Enjoying watching you. Love Oh, thank you. I love when you guys come. This is such like the therapy for me. You guys are know I was like really starting. It's a good therapy. I get to share the products with you guys, and it's a good way to connect. So that was another thing. We're coming from home. Um, I didn't see everybody that much, and I didn't get out that much, and my health was having issues. So this was a good way for me to show everybody that I was still doing well, that I was still thriving, still have my challenges, and do. But that's not going to stop me. So I've been getting out more. I have been pacing myself. Because, you know, I get all gung-ho and then mess around and my knees are swollen and I'm like, what did I do? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is too slow. We need some little... Oh, 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 oh. Let's find some... Let's find some music. Uh... I want to keep a customer though. I need some. I guess. So I'm going in with our. I don't know. I'm going to do too dark. I think I'll go in with our Tenacious, our Sport Shadow. So with the. That's what I was saying. I was talking about our kudos for this month. Tomorrow is actually the last day for the November kudos. So, guys, there's still a chance for you to get your palette of your choice. And you see, I did with the colors, and then your cream shadow of your choice with the brush and an opulence lipstick. So, oh, I got the glasses today, so I'm going in. As you can see, it's a nice. I move from the other side of the room, so I feel like the lighting is not that good. Can you guys see it? Hey, Doris, can you guys see? Yeah. Darice, what's going on? I was kind of hoping you bust out your kitten and come do birthday makeup with me. But it's cool. I just love the sparkle here. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Who's that? Hey, honey. Hi, honey, boy. Girl. I'm just chilling here, doing a little birthday makeup, you know. Uh, as I was saying... The giveaway tonight is uh, one of our detox masks. This was one of our um, one of the deals for our gifted to me. I want to say not yesterday, maybe the day before. Maybe it was yesterday. Where you get the mask and the applicator. I think it was. Like you got you bought the mask and you got your and it comes with a little spatula in it. I was showing mine, but um they threw in the applicator. They they threw in the uh they threw in the app, like the actually applicator. You know, with this one, you take it off and scoop it. You got to move it around. But the applicator, you can just boom, 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 boom. So, yeah. I thought someone might enjoy that. What do you guys think? So, that would be towards the end. The end, the end, the end. Your own personal one. And then what you guys do will just have to, the winner will have to uh, inbox me their address. Because how else you going to get it? Uh, unless it's somebody that wins that's local that can come to the house. That's even better. Because then I can disappear. you. Ooh, y'all see that already? Yes, I'm going in. Yep. 
And what I'm going to do, what I like about the cream shadow is that what I'm going to put it on, it's going to really grab because I'm going to use the anniversary palette. And these colors are shimmer, but they're black based matte. So, should be nice. Ooh, honey bunny. I'm going to go on the lid. I'm going to start on this side. I always start on this side and I'm like, uh, but I'm going to start on the difficult side first. All right, I'm just going to just kind of bring it down a little bit. I'm actually putting it on a lid because that's where I want to do my color. I want to do a little bit dark down because I'm going to be bold. It's my birthday. I do what I want. Yep. Hey. I was I was uh on the phones today. Them people were cut up bad. I said it's my birthday, and y'all are not gonna worry me. And you know what happened? We had technical difficulties. Good, the people was mean and nasty. They you treat me any old kind of way. But then I thought to myself, I shouldn't let anybody get to me any day. Not just because it's my birthday. I have realized that everybody is in different places in their life, and that's okay. I was talking to a young lady today. She didn't get my point of view, and that was all right. I merely wanted to present the information to her. What she did with it was her business. She misinterpreted it. And that's mainly because we weren't having a conversation. That was because we were on social media talking to Messenger. And a lot of times, people, what you don't realize is you only have words. There are no tone. There's no, you can't gauge facial expressions. And especially if you don't know the person, you have no idea. I'm just going in on a lid here. So you have to be very careful with that. And then you have to realize you don't really know a person just because you're like Facebook friends. They put out what they want. I mean, eventually you can judge character as far as, and I don't mean like judge the person, but judge a person's character. You can, you know, you can find out a lot by just observing. Some of it came off there. And you could just really see. And I was like, okay. So you, you can know what, how, you know, how mature a person is or what kind of things you can say to them if they can handle it. Who did I miss there, Louise? The very impersonal one. So, yeah, it is. So uh, the thing was that I was trying to verify some information. And I could see why she said what she said. Um, it seemed like I was being accusatory. So basically it was like, okay, you said that it was going to be Black Friday, but it's actually Brown Friday or it's Red Friday. And they're, say, for example, oh, if you say it's Black Friday, you'll get a free whatever. That's not what it was. But you'll get this free. You'll get the free, you know, you get a free shadow if you say the, the code is Black Friday. And then you go to the place and you're like, Black Friday. And they're like, no. And then you see other people coming out. Well, they said Red Friday. Black is nowhere near red. And you're going to be like, well, did you say that it was this? Because, you know, I don't have the information correctly. Okay, so you see, I got there. I got a kind of shimmery, I got a kind of Olympic thing going on there. I got a bronze, this kind of goldish and silver and, and a pewter, pewter. Right, so then, you know, she was just like, well, no. And I was like, you didn't say that to me, right? Like, and I asked, I was like, you know, did you tell me this or that? And she was like, basically, um, you know, she was basically saying, well, I didn't know. I'm like, well, you're the source that I went to. Like, you should know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was like about business. And I was like, oh, I'm looking for the top, and I dropped it. And like, you know, she just went off, and I was just like, well, the reason why I was asking is because I needed to know this information because I would like to utilize this information and this resource not right now down the road. So now was not a good time. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying not right now. Or, you know. I have to kind of put the brakes on it. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on. Girl, it turned into this long, drawn-out back and forth. And I, I thought she was understanding, but she wasn't. And then it turned into, oh, why would you say this? And why would you say that? And I'm just like, well, we didn't know each other. So, you know, you know, when you're trying to do business and so forth, and, you know, now you want to resort to being just basically childish, you know, you know, just... I don't even know why you would say that, and that makes no sense, and that has nothing to do with anything. Oh, it has everything to do with everything, because if I tell other people about an opportunity and the information is not right, then they're going to be like, what are you doing? Or what are you trying to pull here? Okay, so we want to stick with our kind of metallic, kind of, like I said, I'm going to go with devout, because I'm feeling kind of metallic-y, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
shipper. But, you know, I bid her a good day and I said, listen, I'm not being accusatory. I just wanted to find out. I found out. I thought that you should know. And it was like, well, do you even want to know the information? And like towards the end, and then she finally, she did a, She did apologize. She said, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And I was just like, oh, okay. you know. And that was that. So I know that I won't be doing business with her. What's going on? Don't get mad. Don't get even. Do better. Much better. Rise above. Be so engulfed in your own success that you forget it happened. You know what? You're absolutely right. But I learned something today. Even on my birthday, I was just like, everybody is an individual and you have to meet people where they are and be okay with it. So that was my lesson. I was like, okay. And just because I would do things a certain way, they wouldn't. And that's okay. So I'm stippling on right here. You are absolutely right, girl. We're moving on. Because it's me birthday. So as you can see, like I said, it's a black base and it just push her. So I'm just patting on there right where I put on my um, Tenacious and it is grabbing it like no other. Y'all better shut up front door. Ooh, chill. And no sparkles are coming in. When I take the pictures, y'all gonna be like, ooh, chill. So I still have, as you can see, where I tap, you see where I tapped it in? And I'm just gonna roll, I'm just going. Oh man, it went into the other one. But that's okay. I'm gonna use that one anyway. And I'm just going to go around there. Ooh, chill. Hunty, let me tell you, Hunty. What's the name of that palette? Oh, this is the anniversary palette. This is the one that was for November to remember, basically, I said. So this is the one with the limited colors. This one has the um, beaming, which is like a semi-shimmer. Then I have Unashamed, which is a matte, kind of like a mauve. The one I'm using now is Devout. It's kind of like a pewter kind of gray one. You know, depending on how you move it, it's like crazy. I love the colors, like kind of psychedelic. Then I have Dazzling, Immense, Courageous, and Enthusiastic. I did a couple of other looks. So, yeah. Yes, sir. So this is the one. Tomorrow is the last day for the uh, anniversary Sorale bundle because, you know, you need to have five years this month, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's the one that comes with the, this one, the cream shadow, the, the shadow brush and the opulent lipstick. What you think, guys? Oh, come on, dance with me. I might bring it up a little bit because guess what I got? Hooded eyes. The hooded eyes struggle when I open up. You still can see it a little bit. I might bring it up just a little bit because I'm in the hooded eyes struggle gang. Yeah. But yeah, the people on the phone cutting up and I just said, you know what? I'm going to learn. And I then I talked to my homies online, you know, we talking in the chat. Some of y'all up in here, my homegirl Janet, uh, Amy, y'all know. Y'all know what it is. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to move on. And as Janet just gave me some really good advice, I tell you, that's the best present, some good advice, advice that you can use. Be so engulfed in me. And that's what I'm going to do. Circular emotions when doing your eyes. This one, they said the pat. I find when I drag it, it just kind of, the this particular one, this one is a shimmer. These ones are shimmer with the black base. And for some reason, it's like, you mean just like pat it like that going around? I'm going to blend it a little bit. It looks like um, like I really have to control this because then it just looks like a black. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to do, do the circular on here. I can listen. Did I miss anything? Oh, shimmer, I see. Circular motion. Yeah, I did that. On, I think it came on after, but you, you're right, though. You're absolutely right. I used, when I did the semi-shimmer and the matte, I did that one there. And then this one, like I said, because it's the, the, the black base one, it just pat it on to grab it. And then what I did is I put the, you know, I put the splurge on top. But I'm going to go in with a, a matte and blend on top and blend it into that one. So here we go, because I want it to grab. Yeah. I am jamming, y'all. Really good birthday. I'm really grateful because guess what? This year, 2017, I didn't go to the hospital at all this year. As you guys know, I've been struggling with the different issues. Like I said, it started a couple of years ago with the 
um, the car accident, well, the tumor, and then the car accidents, and then subsequently all the other things happen, circulatory and water and all this other kind of stuff. But, you know, it's getting better. And even from the two months ago when I started moving more and just little by little, I was talking to my buddy today, Janet, you know, you just do a little bit. And then getting ideas about different foods and trying in increments with other stuff. And what I'm finding is um, taking away those things a little bit at a time. Like some people are like, just go full throttle and take everything away. That That's not going to work for me. <laughs> that requires a level of discipline. And I don't have that in certain things. And I had discipline to go back to school and get two degrees. And I had discipline to run a household and do those things. But discipline to like, prepare the meals at this time and eat at this time. Nope. Not making excuses. Just didn't have any discipline. And that's that. But I have learned to I don't see like feeling what? I don't like telling myself no. I feel like can't do I can't do cold turkey. I don't think that's a good idea for everybody at every time for everything. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody is different. It does have a little bit of fallout, guys, though. Which is why I do my eyes first. Only because depends on how how much of an addiction you have to it or how much of it you have because your body is used to having it. For example, for me, starchy foods, like we ate rice and beans and, and peas and all that kind of stuff. And to just say, I'm not going to have any more starch... That wasn't going to work for me because sometimes that's all that we had. So I'm like, uh, now if you say, okay, we're not going to do any meat. Well, sure. <laughs> you know, because we didn't, we didn't eat meat every day. Ooh, y'all better shut up. I think I'll do another layer of that. I see my hand coming out. Yeah. You know, I was watching an interview with the carbs on my instrument. I think that's a lot of people's stronghold and call them dusty, dusty carbs, you know, and it takes time to get used to. You don't wake up and say, hey, I want to I want to eat rabbit food and that's it. Your body is going to be craving that stuff. I mean, it's no different, you know, than if you were like doing drugs or drinking, you know, you got to intervene some kind of way. And, you know, I've done different things like um, the apple cider vinegar and so forth. To kind of, and that's helped out a lot, you know, a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of the lemon in my water to try to cut that, you know, obviously things like the soda was okay. It's like, okay, put it down. I started having like things that are similar to like a crystal light or so forth or spark. I'm, I started taking spark from Advocare and that's really nice. It gives me the energy. So the soda wasn't too bad to get rid of. I like a soda every now and then. So it was, that was one of the things that were easier. So the things that I was able to you know, give up easier. I did. And the things that needed a little more work, then we worked with it. And again, my homegirl Janet today was telling me, she was like, don't be beating yourself up if, you know what I'm saying? If, you know what I'm saying? You just, you know, last week you gave up coffee and this week you're giving up sweets and then, you know, then you're giving up, uh, uh, you know, starch and processed foods and this and this and this and this and that. It's difficult. The starting point. I mean, that's what I did. And I didn't just start on September 5th. You know, this started some time ago. Um, actually, it started about, I want to say about five years ago. I stopped eating red meat. And then, um, you know, I had it again and reintroduced it. And I noticed how my body felt. So then I was like, okay, I gave my body enough time to get it out of my system and detox those things. And so it wasn't, it wasn't as difficult. Okay I'm, okay, I'm excited about this. I'm just getting the corner. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Oh, no, no. I'm going to go in with the unashamed. Brownish, bluish. I don't know. What do you guys think? So you think, I want to just blend on top here. Do you think the unashamed? Unashamed. Or, this is from palette four, triumphant. This one here. Oh, this one here. What do you think? So, actually, oh wow, they're actually on the same side for kind of like a trans, you know, uh, transition kind of. So, the 
the triumphant or the which one do you think? That one. <laughs> Doris, that one? That one? Triumphant. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, that's cheerful. Sorry, but it's next to triumphant. Oh, because it kind of goes with the metallic, the blues. Second one. So this one. This one? Give me a bunch of hearts. This one? Cheerful. Not triumphant. Sorry. Triumphant. Triumphant is this one. I'm sorry. I was trying to press to this one, you know, because you got to go this way. And it... So, okay, good. That makes sense. This is why I like your, oh, you get it hard. So she said. Get it, y'all. Yeah, so, so I was saying. So then, um, ooh, y'all know this is my pet. This is my pal, y'all. Yep. Smart choice. Um, yeah, so then it was it was just the red meat, and then that one was pretty easy because you know that's what that you know by that time it was a mad cow and all this other kind of stuff. And let me miss, yes, triumphant, yes, cheerful. I keep saying triumphant, but I might you know what I might use the, the triumphant to smoke out the corner. So cheerful, that's kind of like that's this one. Let me make sure I get it right. Cheerful is here and then tri triumphant i might smoke out a little bit to kind of stay with my metallic kind of oh i like that it's nice oh so that one is more of a matte kind of and now i'm doing as my, my friend said to blend circular blend when she wrap it and blend and bring it up a little bit get rid of those harsh lines um, no, I'm lying. Beef was not first. Pork was first. First it was pork. So I was like, all right. Then it was beef. And then I kind of struggled with chicken and fish because I'm like, I can do without beef. I can do without pork. But I let it bond your pin. So when I started with chicken, I stopped eating it fried. And then I stopped eating it without the skin. And then they had like the hormone free and then I just kind of and by that time, I was kind of like stepping myself down, right? And then that was okay. Okay. Ooh, check, ooh, check, ooh, check. Yep. And in the meantime, in between was, of course, the eating out, which you know was no good anyway. And I started looking at it from a logical and psychological point like i'm paying for convenience i'm not getting the bang for my buck and on top of that this food is no good for me so you know started researching that stuff and that's when they had you know i went back to that video super you guys remember when mcdonald's did super size me and just the guy like for 30 days he only ate mcdonald's and how he was in, he was in semi he was semi fit and and all that i was just like oh. yeah so I went back to watching that, and then they had the, they had another special that you know people were sending me and showing me, and I was looking up is where, what was it they put the McDonald's hamburger or something in like a closet, or they put it away and left it, and the cardboard and stuff deteriorated, but the burger didn't. I started with boar's head, low medium so so low boar's head, low sodium meats. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's like kind of like nitrate free and all that other stuff. Yeah. Is that it? Is that correct? I think I know not. So and then I started really like, you know, I said chew the food and just really like move the texture around. And then I noticed that, oh dude, almost killed himself eating the food every day. He sure did. Like, you know, I remember he got sick. Like it was one point he couldn't even like he just started eating and I don't know if it was Big Macs or whatever, and he started eating that. And he just couldn't even, they were, even the doctor was like, we don't recommend you doing this. And I'm like, I understand where he was going. I was like, but dude, I don't think people eat it every day. I think that it's, you know, maybe a couple times a week. But, or maybe some people did. I don't know. I was just like, ooh. I said, I wouldn't do that. Okay, I just smeared all the, um, all the shadow from the fold out there because, you know. I should have set the bottom with the with the uh, with the loose powder and then just brushed it away. That would have been smart, right? Cause you gotta start with my brows, but you know, which is, I do what I want, right? 
Yeah, so then he did that, and then he was like, oh, my gosh, he was so sick. I was like, dude is going to doom doom himself. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, thank you. So I was like, okay, I'm good with that. And then I was like, man, then I'm still hungry again. See, me, I'm greedy. Like, if something's good, I'm like, oh, I want me a bunch of it. Like, I'm used to eating a big platter of vegetables or, um, a, you know, salad because I'm going to keep eating because this is good. Not necessarily the meat because it's like, you know, after a while, you're going to feel so stuffed. But, you know, you can kind of get away with a big, you know, the big plate of greens, you know, and just kind of, you know, say like with the ham size or the meat and um, the rice. I had to get that under control in the pasta. Um, and instead of what I was putting for the pasta is what should have been for the rice, which that, that was okay. I'm just using one of our shine wipes. I like that because it doesn't dry out the skin. So cool. Let me see everyone do now. Oh, yeah. So let me get this brow bone. Let's get this brow bone, this brow going. So that was nice. So I've got, I've got oh, yeah, I'm going to go with a little bit of tender. Tender and beaming is very close, but I want to just bring that down just a little bit and drag it into the other one. Tender. And then I'll... Uh, a highlight with beaming. I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do with my lid. I'm gonna do a little halo or what? I don't know what. I don't know. 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 We'll see. We do what we want. It's makeup. Yep. Whew. Yes. 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 I think this might be the one that I do a little halo with. Whew. Just bring it in there and blend it. And blend it and blend it. Oh, it's blended. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like, oh, I love it. 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 I don't know why I'm doing all this. No, no, I gotta go there. All right, so let me see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little eye pencil white because I wanted to. I'm gonna do, do the white. Just do it because I just want a little, a little bit of pop. Just a little bit of white. Might need to sharpen this. And then I went from there. And then just try to control that. And then I went, started supplementing smoothies because I don't like breakfast. Never really did. Still don't. I'll be all right with a smoothie in the morning. But then I was still having coffee. And then I switched to Splenda. Not Splenda. Splenda? Splenda. Yeah, Splenda, and then now Stevia, and Truvia, and then Stevia. So I kind of slowly, and Stevia works. So now I'm just going in where I went with that white eyeliner, just a little bit on the lid. Yeah. I do what I want. So yeah. But then I got hooked. Oh man, guys, I got hooked to veggie patties, and then today. I got the veggie nuggets. I think Morning Star makes it. Morning Star is all right with me. They say the day. So now I don't really miss hamburgers and because I had like turkey burgers. I was loving turkey burgers. But the darn turkey burgers had all the stuff that was in there too. And I was like, man, boy boo. He was depressed. I like coconut rum cake. LOL. Thanksgiving. I went overboard. But yeah, it's 79. I didn't have any of that. I didn't have any fruit cake. I have girl, you know, we eat all them stuff there. I had none of that. Well, I didn't cook and I didn't. My aunt usually sends fruit bun and all that other kind of stuff. I ain't really, I don't know why. I did have me some ice cream cake for my birthday today, though. And it was, I will say this. I was kind of disappointed. I've been really disappointed in, like, the snacks. Like, I feel like the snacks are not the same. And I feel like if you're going to give, this is my opinion. This, I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't know. What do I know? I feel like if you're going to get all these calories, you shouldn't enjoy it. And I didn't enjoy it. I'm like, well, what's the point? Just boil the grass. I said they're taking the fat girl down. She's taking me down. I said this is a disgrace for fat girls everywhere. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Let me go ahead and just fill in my. my I'm gonna cut some of this hair, y'all. I'm sick of it. It is just a disgrace. Snacks. This little bit. Oh, less calories. It's less calories because it's less snack. This snack is terrible. Snack is supposed to be good. Just give me the apple. It's sick of this. Just give me the apple and the cucumbers. I'm just tired of this. 
But then I have to remember too, I'm 44, I'm in my 40s, my taste buds are changing. I remember in psychology, I was, um, remember they were saying like, um, as we get older and we go in each decade, not only does the skin change, but our palate changes. And they said that's a lot of times why elderly people, they still enjoy things like sweets. Like they don't really like spicy food as much. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, I'm not saying I'm elderly. Don't go there, y'all. But yeah. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to do too much with this. I'm going to do like a little light filling, just light. A little bit. Just a little bit. I've been trying to let these grow in. I was looking at some old pictures from the uh, last year this time. I said, man, what was that thinking? I started OD. I'm about like, you know, I should do hand stuff. I was be ODing with them scissors. I saw you that say scissor happy. Scissor happy. I doubt just pluck happy. Just pluck, pluck, pluck. And I don't know how to do threading. But I could do a razor. I could do a sharp with a razor. And I could do them tweezers. But then now they say, ha ha, jokes on you. It's true. Y'all caught me today ODing on Facebook just all day. I had taken that. Well, that birthday love. I was trying to respond to everybody, then I had to just hit them with the likes. I'm gonna go back when I, you know, tonight when I'm like after I thank God again, you know, for letting me see another day, and I go back and um go back and review all those and answer everybody. I tried to get everybody with the hearts and the, the likes and to make sure I didn't forget anybody, but I'm sure I forgot because you know sometimes on Facebook you don't see everything in order; it doesn't show up. I got in trouble one year. I told a guy my job, said, hey, wish me happy birthday. He said, yes, I did on your timeline. I said, I did not see it. Sure enough, I went back, it was there. And he told me the time he had wished me birth happy birthday too. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. So, so sorry, yo. He probably said, what? God, bye. I said, I'm sorry. He said, I beg. I went over to his desk and I heard him. I said, can you ever forgive me? He said, of course, no, no. But, you know, even something like that, people, would, you know, and I'm learning about maturity. I'd be like, no, you didn't. I, no, you did because that was me now. You didn't. And don't speak to me. Stupid stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Jamari, you too old for that, man. You too old for the foolishness. Stop, come about, come up, come about to that foolishness. A foolishness. I'll be your foolishness. Right, my sister? Doris, right? All right. Move, my sister. Move. Too damn disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, I was singing. Y'all see how my hair look crazy? It was like this. I don't care. It's me birthday. I'm going a little bit black, so I look crazy. I don't know. You got a recommendation for a... You know what? I think we got a brown, a dark brown. Like, I still feel like even with brown, I have to put a hint of black in it. Just get rid of it. What y'all think? Therese, what you think? Oh, girl. Why y'all didn't go on the page and um answer the question about how many lipsticks there was in there? Right. When the people put on the application, what are your uh, skills? It should follow the instructions. Cutting up. Cutting up. Cut up. Bad. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Let's do some um eyebrows. Am I going to leave this the way it is? I'm going to snatch it. I'm going to just snatch it a little bit. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'm going to just snatch it up a little bit. No, they look okay. They look okay. Let's do some eye. Let's get some epic. We're going to be epic. Da, 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 da. Ah, da, 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 da. Ah. Ah, I do a skeptical. I use the, I use the, uh, as a hot mess. Man, I, oh, at least I see the top for the, uh, I see the top for the, uh, thing. I guess it's going to stay there. Whoa! Yes, child, what's next? Um, eyes, right? So let me get this mascara. I'll do some epic, oh, no, wrong place. I'm putting the brush with the John Marie. Get your life. I'm just wiping my brush with my shine wipe. 
which is good until I wash them a little bit later. I'll probably do them tomorrow or tonight, maybe later. I don't know. All right, so here we go with the uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, what I do? Oh, 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 let's go with this transplant and gel and these fiber lashes and then hit it with the mascara. With the mascara. The mascara. But I had a bunch of fallout. I'm going to mess around again. Again. Yes, child. Yeah, Jerry, you know you're supposed to be up here with me. Oh, should I curl it first? Should I curl them first? I mean, it's my birthday. I mean, it's the least we could do because I want to, I want to look nice. I used to be so scared with this, thinking I was going to chop the whole uh, the whole eyelash off, too, or grab the, the lid, because I was just so clumsy. Oh, goodness. Gracious, gracious, oh, me. Oh, that's funny when the air is like air conditioning for your eye when you keep it open. Did I miss anything, guys? Is it going down? Oh, you had the last comment with the hat with the cracking up. Because I'll be cutting up to. Well, I'm definitely going to smoke the bottom down here because it looks like it's already smoked. <laughs> I'll try not to jack this one up. Woo! I blinked into it. I think the key with this is trying to as much as possible. Where is the eyelash? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Try as much to relax your eye. Don't like freak out. You know, so yep. Not too bad. I'm going to attempt to not poke myself in the eye again. All right, so I'm going in with our transplanting gel. Ah when I come out and I like to pull it on out there, pull it on out there, move it on up. So you want to do one eye at a time, give it a chance to, I want to lengthen, I want to pull it up and lengthen, pull it up and lengthen. All right. I'm going to bust out these fiber lashes. Fiber lashes. These lashes. Oh, y'all see my crusty hand with no lotion. My gosh. Yo, yo. Oh, yeah. We'll go, go ahead. Mm. Move it on up. Move it on up. Oh, yeah. Move it on up. Move it on up. I get. I go that way, too. Vertical and horizontal. Oh, uh oh, I don't want that going in my eye. Press it in. Gotta remember to press it in. And go up that way, too. Yep. And then I'm gonna go on the upside. Yep, I'm so grateful for another day, another year. I made it. Like I said, no hospital. Um, the pain that I did have was bearable. Made some good decisions, and I'm still going. And every day that you have is another day. It's a blessing. I said it shouldn't just be my birthday. And I have been coming to terms with that, you know. Just be happy. Embrace me. Embrace this journey. Love it. Don't rush because everything has its time for it to, for it to be. Everything has its time for you to accomplish. Everything has your season. You know, if you shake the apples down off the tree before they are ripe, they're not going to taste good. And not only that, you're going to get sick because it's not right. It's not ready. You don't wake in everything for its time. Everybody's story, everybody's time that they cross over the finish line or their time to shine is just different. So in the meantime, while you are in your seasons um, of harvest and celebrating, guess what? I'm going to be there 
on the sideline cheering because I'm excited for you. For many of you, I know you're struggling. I, I see what you have to go through every day. And life is not easy. You know, even with love and support and people around you, life gets hard. You know, we experience loss. We experience disappointment. We experience sadness. We have emotions. You know, past two weeks, I've had friends that have experienced death. Now, death is hard when you lose somebody you love. 